once again. Uh, my name is Nelson Karanja for Creative Locus. As usual, Creative Locus is where we discuss topics to do with leadership, management, personal development, all the topics that help us grow together. We always say lifelong learning never stops. Today, we want to look at why, you know, Bona, why? It is said that why is more important than how or what. A lot of times we are overly obsessed with how will I do this or what am I going to do? And all those are good questions, but the most important is actually the question of why. Because if you have a good enough reason to do something, the question of how or what, that actually falls into place. How and what are important, but they actually just help us clarify on why. So today we want to look at seven reasons why why is important. The first one, it provides clarity and focus. It provides clarity and focus. Knowing why we are doing something, it gives us a clear direction and purpose. It helps us to kind of direct our energy. You know, we get laser focused when we have a driving reason to do something. It helps us uh, to prioritize our efforts and make informed decisions. And as we stay focused on what truly really matters. Number two, it fuels intrinsic motivation. Intrinsic motivation is where now your motivation comes from within. It becomes um, something that wells from within you rather than when it's driven by an external force. You're not forced uh, by uh, just the rewards of it, but there is something in you uh, that finds it very necessary to do whatever it is you're doing. That inner drive is better than when somebody is whipping you. Think about it. Somebody can go to school because the parent says go to school or you are being forced by circumstances. Uh, we have seen uh, people going back to school because their job is being threatened. Now, those are external reasons, but where now you decide that this is important for me and I need to do this, then in that case, that becomes intrinsic uh, motivation. It is internal. Number three, generates resilience. When we are so clear on why we are doing something, we are more likely to withstand challenges, uh, to weather the storms and pay the price. Uh, we are able uh, to endure difficulties and setbacks because we already are very strong on the why. Think about it. If you are asked by somebody to go to Mombasa and you are in Kisumu, the why is actually more important than how you will get there or what you need to do in preparation if it is clear why you need to be there. You know, if somebody says, come, we have coffee. Now, surely, you're not likely to find that as a strong enough why to go all the way from Kisumu to Mombasa. But if, for example, it was a business deal and it was lucrative enough, if it was a job offer, in that case, the why is enough to give you that focus, help you to be driven and to get the necessary uh, resilience to actually weather through all that journey. Number four, it inspires creativity and innovation. When we are very clear on why we are doing something, we become creative. You find new ways of doing things simply because you have locked the reason for doing it. If it's strong enough, you will find a way. Uh, somebody said, uh, if you wait to get enough money to start a business, you will never get enough money. If you wait for all the money to be available for you to build a house, we all know it never really actually gets done. Why? Because until you lock the importance of that, that is the only time that all these other things will start to fall in place. We get creative, we get innovative, 
and we find that every resource we come across uh, goes into this. Number five, it enhances decision making. Knowing our why helps us make better decisions. And it becomes like a guiding principle. Uh, it allows us to evaluate our options and we choose paths uh, that align with our values, our goals, and our aspirations. Number six, it cultivates a sense of fulfillment. Now, if you didn't have a reason to go somewhere, if you went to that place, you wouldn't necessarily feel fulfilled. Why? Uh, fulfillment comes from achieving something that you already had set out to achieve. So, when you knew why you wanted to do something, when you actually get it, you get more fulfillment out of it. Because, well, you wanted to achieve A, B, C, D, you have achieved it, now you are glad and you are happy. Number seven, and the last one, is that it builds authentic connections. When people understand your motivation, when people understand why you're doing what you are doing, you're more likely to connect with them because there is clarity. Do you want to pursue uh, a career change and people understand why you want to do it? They're more likely to support you. So when it is clear on why, it helps us to connect with others at a deeper level. And when people understand our motivations and our values, they're more likely to support us in that journey, to collaborate with us or even to join us in our endeavors. So, in conclusion, while how and what are actually important considerations in achieving our goals, they are, not, uh, they are only secondary to understanding the why. Without a clear understanding of our purpose, and the motivation, the how, and the what, these ones can actually feel very empty and they can feel a bit detached from our true selves. So, think about your motivation, your why. This is Nelson Karanja for Creative Locus. As usual, please uh, do share our content, uh, like, and subscribe and support our channel. Thank you, and until next time, have a wonderful week. Thank you.